I'm coming from London. In the last year, I've lost about 110 pounds. I found Clinic Hub um, online because I wanted to um, get rid of a lot of the excess skin that I had, different places on my body. And so I searched online to find um, somewhere that I thought was safe. And I found some videos on YouTube of previous people who have also come and got different surgeries. Um, and yeah, that's how I found Clinic Hub. After losing a lot of weight, um, I had obviously a lot of loose skin. I was confident, but I felt like if I'd gotten rid of my loose skin, I would be able to wear the clothes I wanted to wear and feel the best about myself to show the hard work that I've actually put in. That's why I ended up getting a tummy tuck with lipo. The reason why I went for Clinic Hub um, was when I was researching, I found loads of different clinics, but um, I didn't find a lot of information about people who had actually gone, like real people who had actually gone and traveled and gone to Turkey and gotten different surgeries done. So I went on YouTube typed in clinic hub and um, searched the web for like different videos of girls who had come and gotten different things done um, and all of the reviews were really good um, and then I started following some of their journeys and some of them had come back and gotten more surgery with clinic hub so um, that's why I felt more confident to go with clinic hub. The pain was it was definitely present but um, definitely um, was bearable with the meds that I was given and the care that the nurses took with me um, each like every hour they were coming in and out just taking care of me making sure that everything was okay um, checking my vitals um, giving me more painkillers if I needed so pain wise it was painful but it was manageable because I was looked after really well. If you're planning to come um, to Clinic Hub and get any type of surgery done, depending on the surgery but what I got done, um, lipo and tummy tuck, I would definitely say that you should ideally, if you can, come with somebody. It really helped having a companion um, with me but also the nurses take really good care of you so I know that if I didn't come with a companion I would have still been fine. You know those little things that you might not want to ask a nurse to do possibly um, that your companion can help you do. You'll definitely be taken care of even if you don't come with a companion but I would definitely say come with one if you can. Everything's really taken care of when you come like your, from your transfers to your hotel stay, your hospital stay, how you're getting everywhere, everything is taken care of so you don't, it, it takes a lot of the guesswork out um, which means you can kind of just focus on like um, healing. The service I thought was really really good in terms of um, communication, I felt like it, at each point I was I knew what was going on I knew what was happening on any given day um, obviously when things change certain like sometimes the communication isn't fully clear but um, typically I knew what was going on next and what time I would be leaving and going and coming back etc um, so that was really helpful because it just meant that when I was relaxing I knew how long I could relax for before I needed to get myself up and get ready to go somewhere um, and the hotel beautiful, great food, um, beautiful um, scenery, um, really lo um, lovely staff, um, room service was available, um, the cleaning was available daily which was really really nice obviously being comfortable and being in a clean environment um, was really helpful from, um, for me healing. The hospital stay was really really nice, um, I was able to have my companion stay with me in the hospital which was lovely, they um, had a bed there for them um, which was really helpful. So in terms of changes after I've healed from my surgery and everything it will mostly be like I'll just be able to wear a lot of the outfits that maybe I might have pushed aside because I didn't like the way that my skin looked in the outfits. Um, so I'm looking forward to be able to, 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 be able to wear those um, outfits and maybe um, bikinis because I've never worn one before. I usually wear like full swimsuits. So I'll try a bikini for the first time, I guess. Um, I love this number. It's really, really nice. Um, it's actually my second time. Last time I came, it was warmer. So that was fun but it's still lovely. The sun's still coming out here, so it's better than where I'm coming from, which is London, um, which is cold, cold, cold all throughout the winter season. Um, so yeah, it's beautiful here. Um, I've had time. I didn't think I would have as much time um, after my surgery to be able to go out and um, uh, visit like different places and go shopping and stuff. But I've had time after I've healed a bit and feel a bit better. I'm now able to go to the shopping mall and just do some shopping, which is really, really nice. What I would say is that if you're thinking of getting surgery done, definitely do your research. Research um, about what the downtime for your recovery is going to be like, what the symptoms of like different things might happen. Because I didn't realise sometimes that um, I would have swelling, but the swelling, like I didn't realise it. And so 
I was worried about it but once I spoke to my doctors and the nurses everybody reassured me that it was all fine and once I did more research on it I understood that it was actually fine and it's something that just comes with um, the tummy tuck and lipo which was fine um, so yeah I would say do your research so you're not left with surprises research other people who have come to clinic hub because it's a really um, really really good company really safe um, I felt cared for at all times just make sure you know what you're coming for what you're getting yourself into the recovery process and make sure you do your aftercare